want to thank you so much for tuning in to ChasingCinema.com's official YouTube channel. I'm your host, Jacob Toronto, and today is Movie News Wednesday. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Dirty Grandpa trailer starring Robert De Niro and Zac Efron. I'm going to be talking about Pitch Perfect 3 and concluding with talks of Civil War's trailers. But before we do that, I just quickly want to remind everyone that yesterday, I listed off the top five reasons to skip Paranormal Activity that goes to mentions. If you've not seen that video, click up here with this little eye you'll see up here, or maybe it's over here. I always kind of get confused. You'll see that link pop right up. I think you guys should watch it, or you can check out Movie News from Monday, which we just did. Uh, but let's get into Movie News today. First up, we have a new movie starring Robert De Niro and Zac Efron called Dirty Grandpa. Now, this movie is set to hit theaters January 22nd, 2016, and usually that's a sign for not good things. Uh, if you aren't already familiar with, January and February are more of what we call dump months. And I'm not saying that good movies can't come out in this time period, but the majority of things aren't the highest quality. They're studios kind of just pumping out smaller budgeted things to kind of make some revenue back. You know, award season just passed. They're prepping for summer. Um, however, that doesn't mean great things can't come out. However, I do not feel Dirty Grandpa is going to be one of them. Even though, like I and most film lovers, Robert De Niro is one of the most important actors in the business. However, I can't help to think this movie is going to be a disaster. The trailer just came out. If you've not seen it, you can find the link down here in the description box below. It stars them among Aubrey Plaza, who... In the trailer is just constantly making sexual jokes and trying to get Robert De Niro to uh, get her pregnant as Robert De Niro uh, declares in a party, let's party till we're pregnant. Um, I don't know what the purpose of this movie is other than to have fun. Zac Efron coming off of Neighbors uh, and Robert De Niro coming off The Intern. I mean, just trying to get a small cash grab probably for just the teenage audience. But honestly, this isn't something that really interests me. Um, though I'm a fan of Robert De Niro, I don't buy it. That's the first problem is I don't see Robert De Niro as kind of this dirty old man. I think there's a lot of other actors who are older and can kind of play a little bit more of that sleazy character. But when I see Robert De Niro, I just don't see it working. However, I also know that Robert De Niro is one of the best actors ever. And he probably could make me believe it once I see it. However, it is something I'm not looking forward to. Moving on, I'm going to be talking about Pitch Perfect 3. So if you guys, like pretty much everyone else in the world, saw Pitch Perfect 2, uh, you would know that it was a box office success. The movie was made for about $29 million. Uh, the Elizabeth Banks picture, uh, she was starring in the first movie, ended up directing the second one. And we already were contracted a third because Pitch Perfect 2 earned 285, a little bit over $285 million worldwide. So that's huge numbers. I mean, that's a really, really big comedy. An acapella comedy did super well. That's kind of surprising. Pitch Perfect 1 was a surprise for a lot of people. Pitch Perfect 2 just blew the box office away. Now, again, I thought that I would really like Pitch Perfect. I'm a big fan of Anna Kendrick and a bigger fan of Rebel Wilson. I think they're both hilarious, but I really disliked Pitch Perfect 1. Um, there was a lot of things that I just, I, I couldn't get into. I, I found myself actually really disliking it on a very uh, hostile level. And I, for some reason, it was a movie that I kept having to watch. People wanted to watch it here. They screamed. I, I felt like I watched it way more than I ever wanted to. Uh, and then I went and saw Pitch Perfect 2. And I thought it was actually better than the first. I think a lot of people disagree with me. However, I thought Pitch Perfect 2 wasn't nearly as annoying as Pitch Perfect 1. But it still wasn't a movie that I absolutely loved. But it wasn't as bad. So the third one, I'm kind of indifferent about. But today, the news is that Elizabeth Banks, the director of the sequel, is being brought back to direct this film. Uh, we talked about this a few months ago when they said they're going to be bringing Pitch Perfect back for a third movie. Which wasn't surprising at all because of how well that movie did. But Elizabeth Banks didn't seem to be attached. We do know that Rebel Wilson, Brittany Snow, Anna Kendrick are all coming back for the third film. But now we know that Elizabeth Banks has come back to direct. Uh, does that make a difference to me? Not really. Uh, I'm interested to see more of Elizabeth Banks' work. I don't think Pitch Perfect really gives her um, a place to show off her work direct, uh, as far as a director. But I know she's working on other projects that are going to allow her to do so. I just hope she doesn't get caught in this trap or go down with this ship if it ends up sinking. Last but not least, today some rumors were going around that Disney was going to be releasing Captain America Civil War trailer attached to Spectre, the new James Bond movie coming out next weekend. Uh, and a lot of people were kind of talking about it. We were, everyone was tweeting about this. However, that doesn't seem to be the case. First of all, it doesn't really make sense because why would Disney be putting it in front of a non-Disney film? That doesn't really make much sense. And 
beginning of November doesn't seem to really have the kind of chime as December would be. That's right, guys. What's December? What's coming out in December? That is a Disney film. That's right. You guessed it. Uh, Star Wars. The Force Awakens seems that it's going to have Captain America Civil War trailer attached to it. Now, I, like many of you, have been anticipating this trailer. Uh, it might not even be a trailer. It might be more of a teaser because we haven't really seen anything from it yet. And we're looking now at about, what, five five months until this movie comes out. Pressure's on, and a lot of people want to see this. It's time to get everyone talking and everyone get back in that kind of Marvel excitement mode. Though I don't think it really left. And I think it's a great opportunity for them to debut Spider-Man. This whole summer, that's all we talked about was the Web Slinger. And now I think it's a perfect opportunity just to throw him in there. Either it be just a little small moment or, um, you know, a, a web flying. And then we're just kind of seeing him... Um, I don't even know the, the, the right verb, swinging across the screen. But we need to see him in just a little bit of kind of, uh, just a little bit, just to kind of give us that extra momentum, that extra push. But to me, it's it's genius. We all know that Star Wars is going to be huge. That weekend is going to be insane at the movie theaters. And to top everyone else's excitement, connect Marvel and Star Wars, and you have just massive nerdgasms all over the place. I, I don't like using that term, but that's the word that comes to mind because everyone's going to be flipping out over that. Um, I think it's the perfect opportunity to debut it and it'll have everyone jumping out of their seats. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap it up today for movie news. Um, make sure to tune in tomorrow as I do a throwback Thursday to one of my favorite f horror films and one of my favorite films of all time, the 1970s film Carrie. So make sure to tune into that directed by Brian Del Palma. Uh, the best way to never miss a video is to hit that subscribe button right down there. Go ahead, just give that a click. Before we go, please let me know how you feel about anything we talked about today. If you think Dirty Grandpa is a good trailer and you think you want to see that movie, uh, let me know down here in the comment section. If you are excited about Civil War, if you think it would have been better on Spectre, let me know down here in the comment sections below. Or if you are pumped up about Pitch Perfect 3 and you want to yell at me for not liking the previous two, down here in the comment sections below. That's my favorite part about doing these videos because it makes this one-way conversation a two-way street and we get to have a dialogue about it. Right above the comment section, there's a little thumbs up. If you just want to give that a click, lets me know you're enjoying these videos. Let's me know I'm doing a good job and I greatly appreciate it. Also, if you want to see any videos that I mentioned in this, in this video, click the link in the description box or hit that little eye circling above here, right here. They have all the links attached right there. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning into this video. My name is Jacob Toronto, and please continue chasing cinema. I'm going to be talking about the Angry Grandpa trailer. I'm going to be talking about... Nope.